ladies and gents, I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm just coming to have a bit of a catch up really more than anything else. Let you know that I'm still here um, because I've not been on for a while. Um, I've just been really busy since Christmas. Um, the shop's been quite busy, so I've uh, been busy working. And I am homeschooling my little girl um, since uh, they broke up at Christmas. Um, I've taken her out of school so that's taken up an awful lot of my time at the moment so I'm, you know my uh, priorities are elsewhere a little bit at the moment just for now um, but you know I'll keep I'll keep bobbing on and, and doing what I can when I can um, it is temporary she'll be going back to school as soon as we've got a place at a uh, better school I wasn't happy uh, well she wasn't happy at the school she was at and so I had to take drastic action <laughs> Um, it has obviously completely eradicated any of my own personal time, so I'm not getting an awful lot of crafting in. But I just thought I'd come and show you this little project that I've done. I have um, committed to a lot of one-on-one -on -one swaps this year, and the first one is due at the end of this month. And thereafter I've got between uh, two and three swaps a month between now and about October. <laughs> So uh, I need to get my um, skates on. So what, one thing that I've created um, for one of the swaps is this little um, fabric pin book. It's very, very simple. Um, you'll have seen the format before. It's just two pieces of fabric sandwiched together with wadding in the middle. And I have machine sewn it around the edges. And then I've just decorated it really, really simply with some of the um, some of the kind of things that I sell in my shop, which is Scrimpy's Craft Boutique. I'm over on Facebook. Um, if you want to find me, you can come and have a look what we do. I don't promote the shop a lot on YouTube um, because... Um, to be honest, um, without trying to sound like um, blowing my own trumpet, I don't really need to um, because I've got enough work to keep me busy. So that's why I don't really promote a lot. But you can get an idea of the kind of things that I sell by watching my videos and you can get a feel for my style and my shop has a specific style and it is what I call shabby, shabby vintage. Um, so th this is a beautiful trim. And um, I have sold this and I've had it in recently again. And I've just used a little bit that was left over from selling because I don't use um, the stock, obviously. I just use what's bits and bobs that are left over. Um, and this was an off cut. And I've just used it to just dangle down, if you can see, just dangle like a tassel down the spine of the book. And then I've just finished it off with a little uh, ribbon cluster here. Um, I've just decorated the front very plainly with um, some gathered tulle and it's box pleated tulle, it's beautiful, it's super soft and very versatile, you can use it for all sorts of things, it's very touchy feeler and really really lovely and then I have just topped it off with one of these 3D, uh, it's actually milk lace appliques and if you can see by the size of my hand, it's quite a significant size. And it's also got these like 3D stamens in the centre. Um, so really, that doesn't need anything else. I've just gone around the edges, front and back, inside and out, with a, just a very plain Chinese braid or S braid. Um, nothing fancy. And I've put another braid down the spine there, which has iridescent threads in it. Very inexpensive, just off cuts. Um, left over from um, end of rolls and things like that um, but I don't like to waste anything so everything gets used and then I've just turned it into a very very simple very basic stick pin book and inside here we've got some pretty stick pins and um, this one is very very pretty it's like a flower head with iridescent um, like um, crystals Pop that back in there and I've just finished them off with little bows and these little flowers um, which have a bit of a you know a, a sparkle to them and little diamonds in the centre and then on this corner here I've just got a little lace trim that I've just cut off and again I did some more of the little flowers I didn't decorate the inside because the fabric that I've used is has come from a very beautiful vintage uh, banqueting table cover which we believe uh, was a wedding banqueting cloth it was huge 
and quite a number, I will tell you that quite a number of stick bin books have been made out of that cloth and it is very beautiful and so I didn't want to cover up the embossed pattern there so that's another reason why I kept it so plain also I want the lady that receives this to perhaps just use it use it as a needle book on a desk hopefully there's just a little bit of fluff there I'll get that with some sellotape on a desk maybe she does she does a lot of sewing and uh, what, whatever have you works with fabrics so hopefully she will actually use this book and you know put her pins in it and fill it with needles and whatever have you Little bows, inexpensive crochet trim there, just some little teardrop pearl headed pins. Again, some bows to keep it the you know the style consistent throughout. Very plain, very simple, but you know, following on from previous pages. And then just here, this is the centre page, so I just wanted it a little bit nicer. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know how well uh the light is. This lace here is a stunning, beautiful lace. Again, it's an off cut. And what, what it is, it's one of the ones, you know, that have like an extra inch or two inch of tulle perhaps added onto the top. And sometimes you might think, hmm, don't really know what to do with that. Well, I just cut it and I literally fussy cut this, this uh, embroidered bit out. So you've got this beautiful framing of the page with this really pretty lace. And I've used these stick pins, these are left over, I did used to sell these, but they were, they ran, they ran too expensive, you know, to make a profit, because obviously when you're in business, you, you know, you have to make a profit, otherwise, um, well, it's not a business, is it? Um, and these worked out too expensive, so I stopped selling them, I did sell a few, but, uh, and then these ones are actually from eBay, they're very inexpensive, um, this lovely flower applique, um, flower, it's not a flower, it's a butterfly, I don't know what I'm talking about. Lovely butterfly um, decoration here, made, made by one of my lovely friends, with some diamante trim. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And then on this page here again, I've followed through again um, with the same pattern with the bows because I wanted it consistent and I've just added some more pins and here we've got two different styles of kilt pin one that can be used to make perhaps a mini fabric hanging and this one you can make charms and dangle charms off it and then I've just added a little lily there and um, because I love lilies the back page I've left plain um, because of these pins here I could have doubled up and put strips of felt on but I didn't feel it necessary, I thought I'd leave it plain. As I say, the recipient hopefully will use it as a needle book and put all the needles and pins and whatever. And again, I've left the back here plain so that you can see all this lovely embossed work in the fabric. And same with the back. And I've just run this S-braid all the way around. And this fabric really speaks for itself. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so I just thought I'd come and share that with you. Um, very very easy to make very very pretty and um, yeah so I'll be back um, as soon as I get some more crafting in um, with my busy schedule um, it, as I say it's short term I am doing the homeschooling so hopefully my um, personal time will come back when we find a place for Alexia so thanks for watching ladies um, have a go, super simple, it's just a sandwich of fabric and then you just decorate it and you can get some really pretty results. Um, I'll leave a link below to my shop if you're interested, you can come along and request to join and have a look what we do. Thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.